Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. It's been five years since I modified this Boss DS1. There's a video on my channel which documents that process and highlights some of the choices I made. Thing is, I don't think I've plugged this pedal in since I made that video and I can't remember how it sounds. The DS1 is a common distortion pedal and as such has been modified a million different ways since it was first released all the way back in 1978. My modification is something of my own creation which I came up with after analysing the circuit design and looking at what others had done before me. My main goals were to extend the distortion further towards the lower frequencies, reduce the overall gain, introduce asymmetry to the clipping stage and tame that unruly tone control. As far as I can remember, I succeeded in all of those areas. I've reinstated the modification instructions and the component list on my website, csguitars.co.uk. And if you want to get really in-depth into what makes a DS1 tick and understand what my modification is doing, then Electro Smash has the most detailed breakdown of the DS1 circuit anywhere on the internet. Links to both those pages will be in the description below. But that's enough forward. Let's gain appreciation for this modified distortion pedal. <laughs>
was interesting. There were some really good sounds in there as well as, um, well, there were some really good sounds in there. Now, in the process of updating my web page, I did some extra analysis of my modification. Some frequency and gain calculations based on the changes to values I made at various parts of the circuit. And I've got to say that some of the choices I made were logically questionable when I take a second look at it. So perhaps there's still some room for improvement. With that said though, I think there are some real strengths to this modification as it stands. There's a deep, detailed character to the distortion that really shines when using single coils and P90s. It's got a response that's very natural, the type of response you'd expect from a valve amplifier. There's a lot of range to the lower gain settings and that saturated high gain lead sound is just incredible. I really wish I had the playing ability to make the most of that tone. It's definitely not the best as a high gain metal type distortion unless you are specifically going for that doom or early death metal type sound. It works far better as a mid gain dirt pedal, something that works well on chords, fattens up single coils and has a very unique texture. However, it's extremely sensitive to input signal level, sounding vastly different depending on how hot the pickups are. This definitely works best with low output pickups, while hot pickups really do obliterate the sound. I suspect this might have something to do with changing the feedback resistor in the initial boosting stage, so I might experiment further to see if I can get a more consistent response. Despite all that, I'd still highly encourage you to try this modification for yourself and perhaps even improve on it. There are affiliate links in the description to both Toman and Sweetwater so you can grab yourself a stock DS1 and the components list is on my website with an article that will walk you through the modification. There's a detailed analysis of what all the changes are doing so you can choose to omit any that you don't like the sound of and there's even suggestions of what to do differently at the bottom of the article. If you do go ahead and do any of these modifications, please let me know how you get on. I'd be interested to know what things you changed, if any, and I hope you enjoy your new modified DS1. But that's all for now. Keep it loud, and I'll see you later. It's a filthy little orange distortion box.